My name is Bree Janes and I'm the founder of Breaking Chains The Wedding Project, an organization dedicated to spreading awareness about addiction and everything in between. On November 21st of 2018, I lost my little sister Whitney Janes to a heroin overdose that took her life. She had been clean about a year and because she relapsed, she started dabbling in other things after living in a recovery home and maintaining drug court. And when she finally graduated, she had thought to herself it was best not to use, but they ended up taking away her probation because she did so well, they thought she didn't need it. She told the judge that he saved her life and she walked out and died two hours later in a parking lot in Hamburg, New York. Nobody was there to save her. She got Narcan herself. They found her hours later, passed away in the parking lot at a credit union. So just because you think you can do it one more time, doesn't mean you can. People who have been using these drugs for 10, 20, maybe even 30 years are passing away. All of the people that we knew as long-term addicts are gone. Long-term substance abusers, whatever you wanna call it, but at the end of the day, people are dying. My sister is dead, that is why I share her story. And she tried, she did really well. She shared on panels with kids escaping drugs. She tried to help kids that needed help and it gave her self-worth. So if you are wondering what you need to succeed, you need to find something that gives back to the community, that helps other people to make yourself feel like a person, like you're a part of, because you are setting yourself apart. It's not other people. You can reacclimate into society. You can do well, you can help people, but you have to find that thing that gives you light. You have to find things that you love. You have to go back and find the things that cause you trauma and you have to work through it. And it's painful and it's hard. Whether you do the steps or however you do it, it's gonna be hard, but you have to be willing to put the work in to make it. And my sister didn't make it and you may not either. So you have to understand at the end of the day, we don't have 20 lives. We don't have nine. We could, but we might not. Don't be a statistic because none of these people are. These were real people with lives, with people that love them. And here we are, left alone, people in recovery who have all those people gone. So just remember that when you decide to keep using, as much as hard as it is, get the help because there are people that love you that may grow up to be in the same situation because they lost somebody they love so much. Thank you.